Hello everyone, I'm Ye Binger from Xi'an Jiao Tong University. Today the topic of my report is Moving Target Defense, Oriented Defects Deployment and Operation. This is a study on cyber-physical security in power system. In the process of power system operation, state estimation plays a key role. The system state is estimated from the system measurements and the system model. In the DC model, the measurement value is the line flow represented by vector Z, and the state is the bus phase angle represented by vector X. In the relationship between the measurement value and the system state, matrix H consists of the line reactance. System state can be obtained by least squares estimation. Then the control center will check it using bad data detection based on the residual between the true and the estimated value of the measurement. In this process, the attacker can tamper with the original measurement values, which can affect the system state estimation results. Our study addresses a typical data attack called false data injection attack. The FDI attack is a linear combination of the column space of matrix H, and this type of attack can bypass by data detection. For FDI attacks, a defined method called moving target defense is very effective. In power system, the core idea of MTD is using defects to dynamically changing the line reactance so that the attacker can't have accurate system knowledge. So, how to deploy defects device in the system is a problem worthy of attention. The current deployment of defects device has form for improvement in two aspects. On the one hand, security. Some well-designed FDI attacks can still evade MTD. On the other hand, there is an inconsistency between the economic and the security of the defects device deployment. To address these issues, we proposed a defects deployment and operation scheme to joint optimize security performance and economic costs. I will introduce the method in our study. The method we proposed can be summarized in two steps, effects deployment scheme and operation scheme. Firstly, we use the rank of the joint matrix I matrix M as the base indicator of security. M consists of the system information before and after MTD. Increasing the rank of M can improve the security of system. And then we choose the deploy defect lines that can increase the rank of M and are more sensitive to the power flow. We defend a bus with no defects device installed on its own contacted lines as uncovered bus. An attacker against this bus can still cause harm to the system. Based on this, we use the remaining DeFi device to protect more uncovered buses to enhance the security of the system. After the deployment scheme is determined, we further optimize the amount of variation of line reactance and solve for the optimal line operation to minimize the system losses. Through these two steps, we obtain the defects deployment and operation scheme with good performance in both security and the economy. Next, I will show the experimental results to illustrate the performance of the purpose method. First is the experiment of the deployment scheme, using the faulting bus system as an example. If 
we have seven available device, red lines are deployed the defect device. The rank of M achieves the maximum and there are still uncovered bars. However, when we have more devices available, our deployment scheme has blue lines, and this deployment scheme protects more uncovered buses for the enhancing the security of the system. Next, we verify the detection rate of our method on FTI and the effect on system losses our experiments using random MTD as a control. The attacker detection probability as shown in the picture on the left. The ADP of the proposed method are significantly ahead of random MTD. Moreover, the ADP could be rather close to the upper bound when there are 10 defects devices. We can further analyze the economy performance on the proposed scheme. From the picture on the right, the proposed defects operation scheme could achieve the minimum power losses. When there are enough defects device, considering the full cost of defects deployment, 11 defects are enough for both security and economy targets in the IEEE 14 bus. System. In our study, we proposed a defect deployment and operation scheme considering both security and economy targets. With the redundant device, our method can enhance the security of MTD by covering more buses in the system. Moreover, the proposed defects operation scheme could achieve minimal system losses when protecting most buses from FDI attacks. That's all for today's report. Thank you for your patience. If you have any questions, you can contact me by email. I'm looking forward to communicating with you.